This is an overview of the Remunity Pro Infusion Pump for Remodulin. Introduction to Components Each kit comes with a pump and remote, a battery bay with rechargeable batteries, a wall adapter, two charging cords, and a belt clip. Charging the remote and pump batteries. To charge the pump batteries, plug the charging cord into the battery bay. These lights indicate the batteries are fully charged when the light turns green. To charge the remote, plug the charging cord in as well. There will also be a battery indicator on the remote. First time setup, pairing the remote and the pump. To turn the remote on, press and hold the power button. After removing the dust cover, place a fully charged battery into the pump, as indicated by the green light. Next, set the passcode. Choose a six digit passcode and enter it. Press check to confirm and confirm by entering again. The pump serial number will show up on the screen. If it does not, press the I button for additional instructions. If the serial number does not show up on the screen, press and hold the blue pump button for several seconds. Verify that the number on the screen matches the pump serial number, which can be found in the left corner of the white sticker on the pump. Press check to confirm and press yes to pair the pump and remote together. Next, enter the PIN number, which can be found in the right corner of the white sticker on the pump. The pump and remote are now successfully paired. Scroll to the prescribed delivery rate and press check to confirm. Select yes to confirm the delivery rate. Supplies needed to set up the first infusion. A Bluetooth connected remote and pump with a fully charged battery in the pump. Infusion set tubing, new cassette, syringe and needle, and remodulin. The remote screen states to attach new infusion set tubing to the new cassette. And then attach the cassette to the pump. Use the ridges on the pump bump and on the cassette to line them up and attach the cassette. The remote will then indicate that a self-test is being performed. Confirm the delivery rate by pressing check. The remote will then indicate how much remodulin to fill the cassette with. Insert the needle into the filling port straight in, insert the medication into the cassette, hold the plunger down and pull the syringe out. 
Once completed, press the check mark. Next, tap check to start priming. Observe for drops at the end of the tubing and press check when it's time to stop. Confirm that the prime is complete. There are visible drops at the end of the tubing. Next, connect to the infusion site and press check to start. Review of the remote home screen. The remote battery icon is located at the top right corner of the screen. The pump battery indicator is located at the bottom in the white circle, same shape as the pump. The banner at the top indicates the status. Green shows that both the pump and remote are Bluetooth connected and the infusion is delivering. This number indicates the infusion rate and hours remaining in the infusion. The main menu button is located at the bottom of the screen. Supplies needed for a cassette change are a Bluetooth connected remote and pump, a fully charged pump battery as indicated by the green light, infusion set tubing, a new cassette, syringe and needle, and remodulin. To change a cassette, press the main menu and choose Change Cassette. Check to confirm. Tap the check mark to stop delivery and continue with the process. Disconnect the infusion set from the infusion site and remove the cassette from the pump by twisting and then pulling apart. The used cassette and tubing go in the trash. Remove the pump battery, place it back in the charger, and replace with a fully charged battery as indicated by the green light. Attach new infusion set tubing to the new cassette. and then attach the cassette to the pump. Line up the ridge on the pump bump to the ridge on the cassette. Press and twist. The remote will indicate that a self-test is performing. Confirm the delivery rate. Tap check. The remote will indicate how much remodulin to fill the new cassette with. Insert the needle into the filling port, which is indicated by a raised section on the cassette near the blue pump bump. Insert straight in. and keep the plunger down when removing the syringe. Once completed, press the check mark. Tap the check to start priming. Observe for drops at the end of the infusion set tubing. Once the drops are seen, tap the check mark to stop the prime. and press yes to confirm that this is the end of the prime. Next, attach the infusion set tubing to the infusion site and press check to start delivery. The infusion rate can be changed during delivery or with a cassette change. 
To change the rate, press the main menu and go to change rate. Press check to confirm. Enter in the six digit passcode. and scroll to the prescribed rate. Press check to confirm. And yes, that this is the desired rate. Note that the estimated delivery time has been adjusted. Alerts and alarms. Alerts and alarms are generated by the pump and remote to inform that the system requires attention. When alert is occurring, the name and the details are displayed on the screen. Alerts may occur while delivery is in progress or while delivery is stopped. An alert does not change the state of delivery and should be addressed as soon as possible. The cassette low alert occurs two hours prior to the end of the infusion also known as the two-hour window for a cassette to be changed. When an alarm occurs, the name of the alarm and alarm details are displayed on the remote screen. Alarms indicate that delivery has been stopped and must be addressed right away. A cassette empty alarm occurs when a cassette is empty. If this alarm is received, perform a cassette change immediately. For menu functions, press the main menu button at the bottom of the screen, and under the main menu, there is the option to change cassette, change pump battery, change infusion rate, stop delivery, setup menu, and system info menu. Under setup menu, there are options regarding the remote, such as screen timeout, screen brightness, remote audio, change passcode, and factory reset. To go back to the previous screen, simply press the back button. Under system info menu, there are options on the system, such as the paired pump, cassette information, previous 24 hours, event history, and about. Under Event History, the Remunity Pro Pump records in chronological order all events. Thank you for your time and for watching this demonstration. For more information, reach out to your Remodulin representative or nurse specialist.